and welcome back to New York Gold. Today we are going to work on an air driven egg collecting device for egg scatterers. The fish we're going to use today are these zebra danios because they're egg scatterers and they lay eggs like every day. So that's why we're using them. Well, here it is. Some pretty uh, simple pieces. $3 funnel with the mesh on top. I stuck some water sprite in it and I just put a rock on it because my seal didn't really work out that well so it's holding it down. Clear plastic tubing. I got an airline in there. Pushing the water up and into the breeder box like so and this is kind of I was getting a lot of turbulence in there even from that little flow and then uh, the eggs drop in and they get collected in the breeder box I'll show you some pictures of the eggs it's a little tricky to see but I took a plastic rod for like the one that you twist for the shades and I shaped it into a U I heated it with a heat gun and shaped it and then zip tied it to try to keep the shape of the U and it didn't really work great but there is one of those little handles on the end of the funnel so it's hard to see but there's actually fishing line tied to this I might just do that and get rid of the bent rod altogether so I'm gonna do a little DIY we'll make another one and we'll see if we can make it better all right I think this is everything we need. I'm gonna to try to do it with this, I guess. This is that mesh canvas. This is, I think it's 10 size. You're really better off at like seven with the bigger holes. I'm gonna to have to poke out bigger spots. I just, I just don't think these holes are, the eggs will make it through there, but I'd like smaller holes. I have some fishing line. This is a 90 degree from Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. I think this is three quarter inch. I just. I wanted it so the hose can fit in here and then pour out. I don't want any steps like reverse where it was like wider. So I just figure something out with that. A little coupling that doesn't fit. I'm gonna have to sand it down just to get a little more reach into the box. And AutoZone funnel. I think it's 329 for the sucker. And I'm just gonna cut this piece right there. We'll see what happens. Okay. first step I have the hose I put a couple screws in the workbench just to keep the shape and I don't know if you can see this white line right here that's about I just got lucky it was paint there but I'm dealing with a 20 gallon you got about 16 inches of space so you got to make sure this funnel is shallower than that 16 or else I mean, you're breeding birds instead of fish all right, I tied fishing line from here to here to keep the shape. I'm gonna go measure the height where to cut it off. Sharpie mark, and we'll cut it there. Well, I cut a little U-shaped there. So this way, when this goes on, kind of encourages the flow to go the right direction. I have to make up that space with electrical tape so it's tight. All right, I put my electrical tape. I probably should have got a tighter one. That's really not a good idea, but hey, what are you gonna do? And I sanded this down because it really didn't fit that well, but now it's on. Just that's I just needed a little more reach to get into the breeder box. It was kind of tight, the other one. And that's that now for the funnel end. And this is pretty convenient that it comes with this. This is actually works. I cut out just a few of these suckers. And, and then this, I think, I want to say this is half inch hose. I'm not 100% sure. That fits really snug right in there. And boop. All right, for this, I have an 11 64th drill bit. And I want that hole 
the hole doesn't have to be in the bottom because as soon as the air bubbles come in they go to the top anyway so anywhere and it's easier to get the, the airline won't kink if you put it on the top so anywhere past the center line so you don't want any bubbles going this way so I don't know let's try it right here uh, a little safer right there close enough and we'll drill a hole and then we'll just a little connector make sure this is open and if you want to adjust the airflow you could put another one outside the tank so you can adjust the flow if you don't have a on a different system that's it and this should pop right in boink that's it done leave it open airline we have to add the mesh to the screen and I traced a big circle out but I uh, I think I want to do a smaller circle so it sits inside so the fish kind of have to go in and you don't lose any eggs over the side when they're scattering. So let's do that. Now hopefully we can get that sucker to sit down in there like that. We'll put our plants in here and then maybe we'll get less escaped eggs out the side. And I'm gonna poke these holes a little bigger. And I don't even think I'm gonna glue this in. I'm gonna just put a rock in it or whatever and leave it there. We'll see what happens. All right, you're also gonna need one of these or something like it. This is the Marina breeder box. The one that filters, you know, empties back into the tank. I have a little sponge here. So nothing gets lost. That, I guess you could try to make it yourself, but I didn't. All right, we're in business. Got this thing airline hooked up. It's cranking. You just gotta kind of figure out how you want to fasten it to the breeder box and whatnot. But pretty simple. You probably got these pots and pieces laying around in your fish room or a box somewhere. I also tried the method where you take a container like this, this Chinese food container, and then cut it round and this one worked pretty good because it's got a lip. Fits right on there. Did the same thing with this water sprite. Just a couple of rocks to weight it down. Set it on the bottom of the tank. Left it there for a couple of days. Next day I took it out and I had eggs. So this, I think they used it more of a toilet than a breeding device because it was full of poop and stuff. But it was there were eggs in there. And this I can just float in another tank. I'll show you how I got that set up. And uh, I can see some fry. See how they... Now this is what I did here, is I just floated that in here to keep it warm, and I don't know, there's, there's actually a lot of fry in there, I'll try to show you. And, uh, it worked, but there's a lot of crap in there. So that's it, that's our little egg catcher right there. I'd like to try it with more rigid tubing, like, like a more proper way to do it. For now, we're getting eggs, so we'll see how it works. I think it could be better. I think it needs some improvement, but that's it. That's our air-driven egg catcher. Bye.